So let's talk for a few minutes about how to get reimbursed for different travel items on your sport club trips. We're going to go through the following areas, entry fees, gas and tolls, hotels, rental vehicles, airfare, and some additional travel policies. Feel free to skip ahead into this video if some of those don't pertain to you. The first thing that we're going to hit on is entry fees. Entry fees for either a team or for, for an individual must be paid by the club. The uh, rec sports cannot take care of that ahead of time. You're going to want to make sure that you provide an event flyer, brochure, website printout, something that shows how much um, this particular entry fee cost you or the club. We're going to want to copy that receipt that shows how the registration was paid, whether it's cash, check, credit card. And the receipt needs to be on some official-looking university or event letterhead. It can't just be a Word document saying that you went to so-and-so university um, and you paid this much. It's got to be on their letterhead. You're going to want it to say the University of Florida club name attended this particular event and it was hosted on this school during this date and how much you paid and how and how you paid for that. Contact information for the event coordinator should also be on the letter in case we have any issues. And if you paid for it by check, make sure you turn in a copy of the front and back of the check once it has cleared the bank and you can get that right off of your uh, your web statement online. Now, one exception is for national events. Make sure you contact your club liaison to check and see if Rec Sports has the ability to pay your entry fee in advance. Uh, we know that some of these are some, some of your higher priced items, so sometimes we're able to help, but please make sure you check with us at least a week in advance so we can give you an answer and get that paid on time. Gas and tolls are next. So for gas and tolls, it's very important that you write the person's name, the UFID number, and whether it's either a personal or a rental vehicle on the front of the receipt. All right. No other purchase can be on the gas receipt. You can't have any food, drinks. If you have anything else like that when you're stopping, make sure you just have two different transactions and only turn in your gas receipt to us. Receipts must be within the dates listed on your travel form. So it's very important that if you're going to be traveling the day after your tournament ends to make sure you put that on your pre-travel document as that's the only times that we can reimburse you. Um, upon returning from a trip, um, we can't reimburse you with, um, when you fill up a, a personal vehicle within 100 miles of Gainesville. So make sure you fill up outside of that, you know, in Orlando, if you're going to the south, um, Jacksonville or so, if you're headed from the, from the north. Um, for turnpike tolls, all you have to do is show us a receipt of your bank statement or if you have um, a sun pass, if you want to just show us your, your statement from that as well. Um, within those dates, we can reimburse you for tolls. Hotels are next. So for hotels, the person's name on the printed bill must be the one that paid for the room. If somebody else's name is on the bill, just turn in a credit card statement um, for the person that actually paid for it. We can still get you reimbursed. However, this is very essential. We cannot reimburse you or the uh, if the club if the hotel has Club X on uh, listed on the bill. So it's got to be a person's name. Each room must have an item on individual itemized bill uh, showing the room costs and the taxes separately. Um, please go ahead and write down the names of the people who stayed in each room and their UFID number on that room's bill. And we have to show that zero balance and the payment type must be on that hotel bill for, in order for you guys to get re reimbursed for it. If you are reserving a hotel room through a third-party site, print copies of every single web page. More is better um, to show us so we can make sure we get you reimbursed for that as well. Rental vehicles. So for rental vehicles, the person's name is on the printed bill. The same thing for hotels must be the one paying for that vehicle. If someone else's name is on the bill, please bring that credit card statement in to show that you actually did pay for it. Payment type must be on the rental car statement or a copy of your credit card um, or a copy of your credit card statement to show how it was paid. You also want to once again want to write the names of the people who traveled in the vehicle as well as their UFID number. And turn in that rental car contract. It's normally a pink slip, especially if you're enter running from Enterprise. Um, we really need you guys to turn that in um, to get you reimbursed for rental cars. We cannot reimburse for insurance. If you want to purchase it, you can, but it's going to be on your own. Um, we can't reimburse for that on rental vehicles. And if you're renting a vehicle, but you're only asking for the reimbursement for gas, um, still provide a copy of that rental car contract to us. And it, that will allow you to, if you have to top it off, you know, obviously when you get back into town, you can top off a rental car, but that's why we need that rental car contract to show that it was not in your personal vehicle. Airfare. 
So for airfare, you need to submit a copy of your credit card statement showing the purchase, your e-ticket, your itinerary, and all boarding passes. So more is better. Uh, boarding passes, if they let you keep them, make sure you ke- make sure you keep them and bring them in. We really need you get to we really need those to get reimbursed. If the company takes your credit uh, your boarding pass, such as Southwest does that a lot, uh, just let us know that. But for the companies that do uh, let you keep your boarding pass, make sure you bring that in. Provide your baggage ticket if you're being reimbursed for baggage fees, and we can't once again pay for any kind of insurance um, if you're. If you want to purchase that or if you need that, you can. You just can't get reimbursed through the club, through the University of Florida. So for our additional travel policies, only UF students, staff, faculty can get reimbursed for travel. Um, Your non-UF affiliated individuals, such as coaches, parents, and alumni, are not eligible to be reimbursed. And then when you're reimbursing for gas, once again, if you're returning to Gainesville, we can't reimburse for gas within 100 miles of Gainesville unless it is to top off your rental, rental vehicle. Um, we certainly encourage you to fill up when departing Gainesville prior to the trip, but make sure that fill-up date is included within your dates of travel. So if you're traveling early Friday morning and you wanted to fill up Thursday night to get a, a head start, make sure that your dates of travel um, include that Thursday night on your pre-travel form. Each individual that's getting reimbursed has to fill out an, a travel form, and it must be typed. Cannot be handwritten. If you don't have a printer, or if you don't have a printer at home, you can type it out and email it to us, or just come into the office and talk to your liaison, and we can put you down on a computer and you can fill it out here. But it must be a typed version of it. Then you print it off, and the only thing that is written is your actual signature on the on the sheet. If you have any questions on this, contact your liaison ahead of time. Our goal is to make this as seamless as of a of a process as humanly possible, uh, but we certainly need your help in that um, and making sure that we collect all of your receipts.